Right, so as you can see here, I've done the curve of interpenetration on my front view of this main pipe. I'm now going to do the development drawing of the, uh, the main pipe. You can see that I've made a little bit of a calculation over here to, to find out what the circumference is. I'm going to take a construction line coming out from the base of this front view over here, and I'm going to draw a little line going up, just a construction line going up over here. I'm going to measure off the one, uh, 151, 151, Use this pair of compasses over here, measuring off that 151 over here, and I can draw another construction line coming up over here. Um, the height of it, well, I can get that straight off my front view. I can draw that line in dark because I know that it's unaffected by any of the curve of intimate penetration. I can draw in the baseline dark as well, and um, I I'm then going to label this line over here going up. I'm going to label it line A. And I'm going to say, all right, line A is intersecting at that point over there. So there's a line coming straight up. There is line A at that point over there. I'm going to call that line A on that side and line A on that side. In other words, if I cut this thing out and wrapped it around, line A and line A would intersect and I'd end up with my cylinder. Right, so the next thing that we need to do is to try and find these points for this curve of interpenetration on this pipe over here. I'm going to start out by taking point one coming out over here. It intersects with line A at that point on this side. And if I continue across to the other side, it intersects with line A on the other side. So I have point one over here on this side and point one over there on that side. And come down to the bottom over here, point 0.7, I'm going to take that across. I've got a point 0.7 over there, and on the other side I'll also have a point 0.7. As soon as I've done that, I can draw in these two lines nice and dark, and at least I'll get the marks for that. Uh, over here, draw in that nice and dark as well. All right, now what I need to do is to find point 0.2 and point 0.12. Right. I'm going to take a line coming out from point 0.2 and point 0.12 over here. I'm going to say, all right, um, let's do point 0.2 on this side and point 0.12 on that side. Um, how do I get the distance as to where point 0.2 is along this line? I need to come down to my view over here, and I'm going to take this distance over here from point A to where point 0.2 intersects with that cylinder, okay? So that distance over there, I take that, I go to point A over here, I make a little mark on that side, and I make a little mark on that side. You can see that point 0.2, the distance from point A to point 0.2's intersection, and the distance from point A to point 0.12's intersection is exactly the same. I'm going to take this distance over here and I'm going to draw a line coming up and you'll see that it intersects with this line coming out from point 2 at that point and if I take a line coming out from point 12 there's the distance from point A to point 12 and that point would be point 12 over there. I then need to come down over here and I say all right what's the distance from point 3 to point 2. There it is, and if I come over here, you'll see that the distance from point 12's intersection to point 11's intersection is the same. So I can come over here, and I can mark that off over there. That would be point 11, and this would be point 3. I'm going to take those lines going up over here, that line coming up over there, and I take a line coming out from point 3 and point 11. There we go. It intersects with that point over there, that would be point 3. It intersects with point 11, that would be point 11. Right. I'm going to do the same thing with 4. I'm going to take this distance from point 3 to point 4. It's a very small little gap over there. I'm going to take that to where I had point 3. Knock that over there. There's point 3. Knock it over here. That would be 3 to 4. And 
11 to 10. Take those lines up. That line up. Take that across from point 10 and point 4. That would be point 4 over there. And that would be point 10 over there. Right. I then start moving back again from 4 to 5. Is that little distance over there? I go from 4 to 5. That's that little distance over there. Taking a line up as we did over there. Take that across from point 5. And I'll have point 5 on that point over there. And I'll have, if I take this across over here, I will have point 9 over there. If I look over here, distance from uh, point 5 to point 6 is this little distance over here. I take that over there, point 5 to point 6. That's that line traveling up over there. I look at point 6 over here. I take that across. There's point 6. And point 8, taking that across. There's point 8 over there. And once I've got all of those points in place, I can then do my curve in here on the development. Just doing little dots over there just to guide me. Once I've got that in place, I can then draw it in nice and dark. Over there. And the same story goes over here. Going around. 10, 11, 12, and 1. And let's just draw that in as well as we can. Right. Uh, you might be wondering why I don't just cut it out in the middle. Well, if I was going to weld this thing together, I'm wanting to weld the shortest part. Also, cutting out from an edge is much easier than trying to cut out from the middle. Right, that's the main pipe done. The next video I'm going to show you how to do the branch pipe that I've already done this calculation for.